Hello dear students, today we have CSAT 2012 question paper with us, right? And uh, if this question paper, if I talk about, this question paper has around 35 questions based on maths and reasoning, right? And uh, these questions are moderate to tough. I'll say moderate to tough, right? They are again, not easy questions, right? And obviously, like at that time, CSAT used to be counted in the final merit list, right? So obviously, the difficulty level of question is justified, right? So now let's start with the questions. First question is saying, consider the following statements. All artists are whimsical. Some artists are drug addicts. Frustrated people are prone to become drug addicts, right? All artists are whimsical. Some artists are drug addicts. So obviously, some whimsical persons are also drug addict, right? Because all artists are whimsical. So obviously, some whimsical persons are drug addicts, right? So let's say all artists are whimsical, right? So this is whimsical and under this article, sorry, artist, right? All artists are whimsical. Some artists are drug addicts. Okay, so let's say this is drug addict, right? And frustrated people are prone to become drug addict. So let's say this is frustrated people and they are prone to become drug addict, fine. From the above three statements, it may be concluded that artists are frustrated. Artists are frustrated. No, from our Venn diagram, we can't say this. Some drug addicts are whimsical. Some drug addicts are whimsical. Yes, it is correct, right? Why? Because all artists are whimsical and some artists are drug addicts. So obviously all uh, some drug addicts are whimsical, right? And all frustrated people are drug addicts? No, right? Whimsical people are generally frustrated? No, right? Statement number B is the correct choice. Clear everyone, right? Okay, this is the question based on syllogism topic, right? Okay, so you need to prepare this topic because uh, you can see like in every year, you will get one or two questions based on this topic only, fine. So please try to prepare this topic. This is an important topic from CSAT perspective, right? Okay, let's talk about the other one. Next question says, examine the following statements. Either A and B are of the same age or A is older than B. Okay. After that, either C and D are of the same age or it has to be or. Or D is older than C. Okay, fine. C. From the first statement, we can conclude A is greater than, I mean, age of A is greater than or equal to B. And from the second statement, we can conclude C, uh, I mean, D, age of D is greater than or equal to age of C, right? And from third statement, B is older than C. Okay, B is older than C, fine. So everyone, if we like move to here, we can include these two statements together, right? First and three, we can include these two statements together and we can get this conclusion, right? A is greater than or equal to B, B is greater than C, right? Now, so obviously A is greater than C, right? So now what is the conclusion? Which of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above statements, okay? A is older than B, A is older than B, no, A can't be strictly older than B, A can be greater than or equal to B, right? Okay, B and D are of same age. No, we can't say anything about B and D. There is no any comparison given in the question, right? D is older than C. D is not strictly older than C. D may be uh, are of same age also. I mean, D and C are of same age also, right? And A is older than C. Obviously, we have found it already. A is older than C. This is the correct one, right? So the correct answer is D. Okay, now let's move to other one. 
Next question says, examining the following statements. Only those who have a pair of binoculars can become the members of bird watchers club. Okay. So those who have binoculars can become the members of bird watchers club. Fine. Some members of bird watchers club have cameras. Okay, fine. Those members who have cameras can be kept in the photo contest. Okay, fine. Which of the following conclusion can be drawn from the above statements? All those who have the pair of binoculars are the member of bird watchers club. No, it is not true. Right? Because for the members of bird watchers club, you have to have a pair of binoculars. But if you have the pair of binoculars, it doesn't mean that you are the member of bird watchers club. Right? For become the member of bird watchers club, it is the condition that you should have to have a binocular. But if you have the binocular, it doesn't mean that you are the member of bird watchers club. Right? Now, all the members of bird watchers club have a pair of binoculars. Yeah, it is correct. Because to join the bird watchers club, this is the condition that you have to have the binoculars. Right? Because it is written that only those who have the pair of binoculars can become the members of bird watchers club. So it means what? To become the members of bird watchers club, it is the condition that you should have to have a binoculars. So here, all the members of the bird watcher club have a pair of binoculars. Right? So obviously it is correct. Right? So statement number B is correct. Fine. Okay, now let's talk about the next question. Next question says, during the last summer vacation, Ankit went to summer camp where he took part in hiking, swimming and boating. Okay, this summer he is looking forward to a music camp where he hopes to sing, dance and learn to play the guitar. Okay, fine. Based on the above information, four conclusions as given below have been made. Which of these logically follows from the information given above? Okay, fine. Ankit parents went to, uh, sorry, Ankit parents want him to play the guitar. Parents are not there in the statement, so we can't say anything about the parents. Ankit prefers music to outdoor activities. No, it is also not given in the question, right? Ankit goes to some type of camp every summer. Every summer we can't say because here in these two summers, like here the information is given for the two summers only. So we can't generalize it for every summer, right? So obviously fourth one will be the correct one. Ankit likes to sing and dance. Obviously like he is looking forward to the camp of, like he is looking forward to the music camp where he can sing and dance. So it means what? It means he, he must have the likings towards it, right? So obviously Ankit likes to sing and dance, right? And obviously like first three are not correct. So obviously fourth one is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's move to next question. Next question says three persons A, B and C wore shirts of black, blue and orange colors. Not necessarily in that order. Okay. And pants of green, yellow and orange. Not necessarily in that order. Okay. No person wore shirts and pant of the same color. Further, it is given that. Okay, so first of all, friends, let me draw the table of shirt and pant. So this is, let's say, shirt and this is, let's say, pant, right? So question is saying, first statement is saying, A did not wear shirt of black color. Okay, A did not wear shirt of black color. All right, B did not wear shirt of blue color. Okay, B did not wear shirt of blue color. Okay, C did not wear shirt of orange color. Okay, fine. C did not wear shirt of orange color. Fine. After that, fourth statement says, A did not wear the pant of green color. Okay, fine. Just hold on it. After that, B says, sorry, fifth statement says, B wore pants of orange color. Fifth statement, B wore the pants of orange color. Everyone, B wore the pant of orange color. It means what? B is not wearing orange color shirt. Why? Because the shirt and pant are not of the same color for the same person. It is given in the question, right? So if B is not wearing orange color shirt and blue color shirt, it means he is wearing black color shirt, right? Now 
B is wearing black color shirt then obviously she C is not wearing black color shirt so C is wearing what C is wearing blue color shirt right and then A is wearing what A is wearing orange color shirt right clear okay so this is the table right and this is the table of the shirts and pants right after that see here a is not wearing orange color pant because b is wearing the orange color pant and fourth statement says a did not wear the pant of green color so a is not wearing green color pant also so it means what a is wearing what there are three colors of pant green yellow and orange right green yellow and orange so a is wearing orange color uh, sorry green yellow and orange so a is wearing yellow color of pant right okay and after that c is wearing green color of pant fine okay question is saying what were the colors of the pants and shirt worn by c respectively question is pant and shirt so first we have to consider pant and then shirt right so pant of c is what green color and shirt of uh, i mean the color of shirt for c is what this is blue color so answer is green and blue right everyone the answer is green and blue okay fine clear it's a simple question right the question is actually simple but you have to be alert while making the cases while reading the questions while filling the data you have to be alert actually right all right now let's move to other question another question says 10 tv shows started in january five sitcoms three dramas and two news magazines okay by april only seven of the new shows were still on five of them being sitcoms okay five sitcoms and the total seven shows are there right so five sitcoms so there must be two drama five sitcoms one drama two news sorry one news right or five sitcoms zero drama and two news right so seven shows can be like this right five sitcoms two dramas five sitcom one drama one news right and five sitcoms zero drama and two news right so it can be like this so now the question is question is asking based on the above information four conclusions as the given below have been made which one of these logically follow from the information given below okay so first information says i mean first conclusion says only one news magazine so is still on we can't say this why because here there is no i mean in the first case these are three cases right for seven shows so in the first case there is no news show right so this is not correct now second statement only one of the drama show is still on only one of the drama show we cannot say because in the first case we have two drama shows right this is also not correct at least one uh, statement c at least one discounted sorry discontinued show was drama at least one discontinued show was drama obviously at least one discontinued shows was drama why because in this case we have we have i mean total we have three dramas right so here one drama was discontinued here two dramas were discontinued and here three drama drama shows were discontinued i repeat in the first case one drama show was continued a uh, discontinued in the second case two drama shows were discontinued in the third case three drama shows were discontinued right so if you consider any of the three cases at least one drama show will be discontinued right so obviously c option is the right choice okay let's move to the next one next question says read the passage given below and the two statements the follow given on the basis of the passage 
Four men are waiting at Delhi airport for a Mumbai flight. Two are doctors and other two are businessmen. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Right. There are four people who are waiting for uh, like uh, who are waiting for a flight in Delhi airport. Two of them are doctors and two of them are businessmen. So two of them are doctor and two of them are businessmen. Okay. So two of them are doctor and two of them are businessmen. Right. Okay. Two speak Gujarati and two speak Tamil. Okay. No two of the same profession speak the same language. Fine. So let's say this doctor speaks Gujarati and this businessman speaks Gujarati and this doctor speaks Tamil and this businessman speaks Tamil. Okay, fine. Two are Muslim and two are Christian. No two of the same religion are of the same profession. No two of the same religion are of the same profession. Okay, fine. And nor do they speak the same language. Okay, fine. The Tamil speaking doctor is a Christian. The Tamil speaking doctor is a Christian, right? Tamil speaking doctor is a Christian, right? So if one doctor is a Christian, then obviously another businessman will be the Christian, right? So let's say this is Christian and obviously this is Muslim. So this is also Muslim, right? So now the condition is what all the uh, like all the same profession, I mean, same profession have different languages and different religion also, right? Okay, now this is now all the conditions are fulfilled. Now let's talk about the options. The Christian businessman speaks Gujarati. The Christian businessman speaks Gujarati. Christian businessman. Christian businessman speaks Gujarati. Third point, right? It is correct. Okay. The Second one is the Gujarati speaking doctor is a Muslim. Gujarati speaking doctor. First one. Gujarati speaking doctor is a Muslim. Right. Both statements are correct. Right. Okay, everyone. Both statements are correct. Fine. Okay. Now let's talk about the other question. Consider the following statements. Though quite expensive, television is not a luxury item as one can learn many things through television. Okay. Which one of the following is a valid inference from the above given statement? All expects expensive things are regarded as luxury. No. All essential things for learning are not luxury. Uh, we cannot say this. Television is essential for luxury. Uh, television is essential for learning. We cannot say this. Television is not a luxury item. This is given in the question. Television is not a luxury item. This same statement is given in the question, right? And it is given here also as a D option. So we will choose D option. This is very correct, right? It is given in the question itself. So it is correct. Television is not a luxury item. Okay, fine. So now let's move to another question. Next question says, Mr. Kumar drives to work at an average speed of 48 kilometers per hour, the time taken to cover the first 60% of the distance is 10 minutes more than the time taken to cover the remaining distance. See everyone, 60% is already covered. Then what is remaining? Remaining is 40%, right? So what is the difference? Difference is 20%, right? So 20% of the distance is being covered in 10 minutes according to the question, right? I repeat. Mr. Kumar is driving at 48 kilometers per hour, the time taken to cover the first 60%. So obviously if first 60% is already covered, then remaining 40% is left, right? The difference between 40% and 60% is what? 20% of the distance, right? 20% of the distance he is covering in 10 minutes according to the question, right? 10 minutes means what? 10 minutes means uh, 10 minutes means what? Uh, this is 10 by 60 hours, right? Or you can say 1 by 6 hours, right? 10, 20 percent, I mean 10 minutes means 1 by 6 hours, right? 
So obviously, Mr. Kumar is covering 20% distance. Mr. Kumar is covering 20% distance in 1 by 6 hours. Right? So Mr. Kumar is covering 100% distance. 100% distance in what time? See, this is 5 times of this, right? So obviously, 5 times of this will be there. So he is covering 100% distance in 5 by 6 hours. Right? We need to find the what? We need to find the distance. How far is the office? Distance is what? Distance is speed into time. Right? Distance is what? Distance is speed into time. Okay? So speed is what? Speed is 48 given. Time is what? Time is 5 by 6. So this is 8. 8 into 5 is what? 40. So this is 40 kilometers. Right? So distance total distance is 40 kilometers that he has to cover. Right everyone? Fine. Okay. Alright. Now let's talk about the next question. Okay. Next question says Gita is prettier than Sita, but not as pretty as Rita. Okay. Gita is prettier than Sita, but not as pretty as Rita. Right. Gita is prettier than Sita, but not as pretty as Rita. Right. Okay. Then Sita is not as pretty as Gita. Yeah, it is correct. Sita is prettier than Rita. No. Rita is not as pretty as Gita. No. Gita is prettier than Rita. No. Right. The first statement is the correct answer. Okay, everyone. Fine. All right. I have drawn the three levels of, uh, I mean, of the beauty. Right. You can say. Okay. Now let's talk about the next question. Next question says, A is brother of B. Okay. A is brother. It means what? A is male. But gender of B is not given. For the like from the first statement we can say A is brother of B means A is the male and he is the brother of B. But the gender of B is not given. Right. Now C is father of A. C is father. C is father means C is male. Right. Okay. D is brother of E. Okay. Fine. E is the daughter of B. Here. E is the daughter of B. E is the daughter. It means E is female. E is the daughter of B. Right. And D is the brother of E. D is the brother. It means D is again male. Right. Okay, fine. Now, what is the question? Then the uncle of D. Uncle of D. Uncle of D, obviously A. Right. Uncle of D is obviously A. Why? Because B may be father or may be mother of D. And A is the brother of... A is the brother of uh, D's father or D's mother, maybe. So obviously A must be the uncle of D. Fine. So correct answer is A. So this is the simple question of blood relation provided you are aware of the all the relations. So this will be a simple question, right? Okay, now let's move to another one. Next question says Rama is court more than Rani. Alright, again the same. This is Rama. And this is Rani. Rama is scored more than Rani. Rani is scored less than Ratna. Rani is scored less than Ratna. Okay, fine. Ratna is scored more than Rama. Third statement. Ratna is scored more than Rama. Okay, fine. Ratna is scored more than Rama. Fine. Okay. Padma is scored more than Rama but less than Ratna. Padma is scored more than Rama but less than Ratna. Okay. Rani scores less than Ratna. Okay, fine. So this is fine. Okay, now what is the question? Who scored the highest? Highest one is Ratna. I mean, Ratna scored the highest. Fine. There are four characters and we have drawn all the four. Right. So obviously Ratna is scored highest. Okay. Fine. Now let's move to another one. Okay, fine. Next question says, examining the following statements. I watch TV only if I am bored. Okay. I am never bored when I have my brother's company. Second statement. Okay. Third statement, 
whenever i go to the theater i take my brother along okay fine question is which one of the following conclusions is valid in the context of the above statements okay first statement is if i am bored i watch tv mm no if i am bored i seek my brother's company no if i am not with my brother then i watch tv no if i am not bored i don't watch tv yeah it is correct see this is the negation of the first statement first statement says i watch tv only if i am bored so obviously its negation is written here if i am not bored i don't watch tv right so this is the negation of the first statement so it is correct right okay everyone yeah it is correct fine now let's move to another statement next question says only six roads a b c p q r connect to a military camp to the rest of the country fine only one out of apr is open at any one time okay out of apr only one is open at a time fine if b is closed so q so is q okay if b is closed closed so is q also fine only one of a and b is open during a storm okay p is closed during flood in the context which of the following statement is correct okay under normal condition only three roads open okay we will check it don't worry second statement says during storms at least one road is open yes this statement is correct because it is given in the question itself question says only one a and b is open during a storm right question is it is given in the question only one a and b is open during a storm so if one road is open so obviously at least one road is open it is the right statement right during during a storms at least one road is open this is the right statement right please don't read it further because now you got the answer if you make all the permutation and combination this question will become a time taking question for you right so you have got the answer then please just leave it here only right this is the correct answer okay now let's move to other question next question says examine the following statements none but students are member of the club none but students are the members of the club okay so it means all club members are the students so this is students and this is club so all club members are the student right second statement some members of the club are married persons some members of the club are married okay some members of the club are married all right after that third statement all married persons are invited for dance all married persons are invited for dance all right all married persons are invited for dance okay now just talk about the conclusions question say which of the following conclusions can be drawn right okay just talk about the conclusions all state all students are invited for dance no from this figure we can't say all students are invited for dance no it is not correct b of b statement all married students of club are invited for dance all married students of the club are invited for dance yes it is correct all married students of the club are invited for dance it is correct all members of the club are married persons all members of the club are married persons all members of the club are not married persons right and none of the above no second conclusion can be drawn option number b is correct all the married students of the club are invited for dance okay all right so now let's move to other question next question says four political parties wxyz decided to set up a joint candidate for the coming parliamentary elections the formula agreed by them was the acceptance of a candidate by 
most of the parties. Four aspiring candidates A, B, C and D approached the parties for their tickets. A was acceptable to W but not Z. Okay. B was acceptable to Y but not to X. Okay. C was acceptable to W and Y. Okay. D was acceptable to W and X. Okay. C was acceptable to W and Y. D was acceptable to W and X. Okay. Next is when candidate B was preferred by W and Z. Z. Candidate C was preferred by W and sorry X and Z. See everyone. C was preferred by X and Z. C. C was preferred by X and Z. This is the statement. And again, here is another statement, right? Just combine these two statements. Here it is written that C was acceptable to W and Y. And here it is written that C was preferred to X and Z. It means C is preferred to W, X, Y, Z, right? So C is the most preferred candidate. So obviously C will get the ticket, right? Who got the ticket? Obviously C will get the ticket because C is the most pre preferred candidates by uh, by all the parties, right? So C will get the ticket. Okay, fine. Now, let's talk about the next one. Next question says, consider the following statements. All X brand cars parked here are white. Okay, some of them have radial tires. All X brand cars manufactured after 1986 have radial tires. All cars are not X brand. Okay, fine. Which one of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above statements? Only white cars are parked here? No. Some white X brand cars with radial tires are parked here. Yes, it is correct. Right? And cars other than X brand cannot have radial No, it is not correct. Most of the X brand cars are manufactured before. No, it is not also correct. So some white X brand cars with radial tires are parked here. Yes, it is correct. Right? Simple question. You just have to be alert while reading the uh, reading these statements, right? Okay. Now let's move to another question. Next question says, consider the following statement. The third world war, if it ever starts, will end very quickly with possible end of civilization. It is only the misuse of nuclear power, which will trigger it. Okay, fine. Based on the above statement, which one of the following inferences is correct okay fine nuclear power will be used in the third world war yeah it is right there will be no civilization left after the third world war no because it is saying possible right and here it is saying there will be no civilization left right so this is not the i mean this is not the 100 percent surety case fine they are saying possible right and the third one, the growth of nuclear power will destroy the civilization in the long run. Mm -hmm. The third world war will not take place. This is not also true. The first one is the true statement. Nuclear power will be used in the third world war. Why? Because the question is saying it is only the misuse of nuclear power which will trigger it. So obviously it will be started with the uh, use of nu uh, nuclear power only. So obviously nuclear power will be used in third world war, right? So option number A is the correct choice. Okay. Now let's talk about the next one. Fine. Next question says the elements of the problem figures given below are changing with the certain rules as we observe them from left to right. Okay. Okay. So everyone here, this stick is like changing some changing in some random pattern. So we can't use this stick. We just use this triangle, right? We will just use this triangle. Okay. So the triangle is like coming here and then here and then here. So obviously it will go here, right? Okay. And this triangle will be just it is going to opposite I mean it is upward so here it is downward right here it is again upward you can say and here it is downward right so obviously this time this will be upward right 
fine so the situation will be like this the triangle will be like this right this is the situation so where you are finding this situation d option right so d option is the correct choice okay d option is the correct choice right all right now let's move to other option next question says consider the following information regarding the performance of a class of 1000 students in four different tests okay tests are given like this 1 2 3 4 and the average marks are given and the range of marks are given fine if a student scores 74 marks in each of the four tests then in which one of the following tests her performance the best comparatively 74 marks A student is getting in all the subjects. Fine. So obviously, for test number two, for test number two, seventy-five are the maximum marks, right? So out of seventy-five, she is getting seventy-four. So obviously, she is the best performance. I mean, uh, it is her. It is the best performance of her, right? So for test two, it is the best performance of her, right? Because the maximum marks are seventy-five, and out of seventy-five, she is getting seventy-four. So this is the max. So I mean, this is the best performance. right okay so now let's move to other question next question says six squares are colored front and back red blue yellow green white and orange okay are hinged together as shown in the figure given below if they are folded to form a cube what would be the face opposite to the white face see everyone in these type of figures alternate face will be opposite to each other right alternate face will be opposite to each other right alternate face will be opposite to each other so here g will be opposite to o right r will be opposite to y and b will be opposite to w right So what is the question? Question asking W. W will be opposite to what? W will be opposite to B. Right. Okay. I repeat. All the alternate faces will be opposite to each other because here R is adjacent to B and R is also adjacent to G when it is folded. Right. So obviously alternate face will be what? Alternate face will be Y. Right. And similarly G will be alternately arranged with O. right so one is left which is b and w right so w will be opposite to b b for blue color right okay next move to other question okay this is the venn diagram question in the above figure circle p represents hard working people p represents hard working people q represents intelligent people okay r represents truthful people and s represents honest people okay fine which region represents the people who are intelligent honest truthful but not hard working so obviously truthful honest intelligent intelligent truthful honest so 6 6 is coming under i i mean under q right Six is coming under T. Sorry, R, truthfulness, and six is coming under S, representing honest also. But six is out of P, which is hardworking, right? So obviously, six is not hardworking, but honest, intelligent, and truthful. Option A is the right choice. Okay, this one was a simple question, and in in my personal recommendation, you just you all have to attempt this type of questions at least, right? Okay. now let's move to other question three views of a cube following a particular motion are given below what is the letter opposite to a see everyone uh, with the help of these two figures i can tell you the answer right here k is common to both of them right but in different position right so a has to be a should be opposite to m in uh, in normal situation but it will be opposite to h right and similarly 
B will be opposite to K in normal situation, but it will be opposite to M, right? And K will be opposite to P. So A is opposite to H and B is opposite to M and K is opposite to P. This is the formation of the cube, right? And you can cross verify this here also. Here B, H and P are visible. B, H and P are visible. So obviously here B in the last, last figure, B, H and P are visible. B, H and P are visible. So their opposite faces must not be visible. So K, A, M are not visible. K, A, M are not visible here, right? So what is opposite to A? Opposite to A is H. Okay, right? What is opposite to A? Opposite to A is H. Let's talk about the next question. All right, let's talk about the next question. Next question says, which one of the figures shown below occupies the blank space in the matrix given above? Fine. So just take this, uh, this filled color, right? So this is moving anti-clockwise. So now it is coming here. So next it is coming here, right? So like they are moving anti-clockwise direction. Obviously like this is the first column, this is second column, this is the third column. So column wise they are moving anti-clockwise direction, right? So like the uh, initially it is here, then it is going here, then it is going here, right? And similarly, if we talk about third column, so initially it is here, then it will be going here, then it is coming here, right? Like obviously second figure here and third figure here. So obviously here in second column, it will go here now, right? So obviously what you will be getting, this will be the answer, right? So this is the answer. What is the answer? The answer is D, right? Simple, simple one, right? Now let's talk about the next question. Next question is guest lectures on five subjects. Economics, history, statistics, English and mathematics have to be arranged in a week from Monday to Friday. Okay. Let's do it here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Right. Let's do it here. Okay. Now, only one lecture can be arranged on each day. Economics can be scheduled on Tuesday. Economics can't be scheduled on Tuesday. Sorry, economics can't be scheduled on Tuesday. Okay, fine. Guest faculty of history is available only on Tuesday. Guest faculty of history is available only on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I mean, history has to be arranged on Tuesday. Fine. So here history has to be arranged on Tuesday. So if this is history, then history can't be anywhere else, right? So history can't be anywhere else. Okay, fine. Okay. Mathematics lecture has to be scheduled immediately after the day of economics. Mathematics is immediately after the day of economics. So mathematics can't be the first lecture, right? Okay, and mathematics has to be scheduled immediately after the economics. So economics can't be the first lecture because on Monday, if we schedule economics, then on Tuesday, we have to schedule mathematics, right? So, and immediately after economics, we have to schedule mathematics. So economy can't be scheduled last also, right? Friday, we can't schedule economics because after economics, we have to schedule mathematics. Fine. So obviously, here also we can't schedule mathematics. Okay. So obviously like here we have already scheduled history, so it is fine. And then English lecture has to be scheduled immediately before the day of economics lecture. English lecture has to be scheduled immediately the day of economics. Okay. English lecture has to be scheduled immediately before the economics. So obviously economics will come to Thursday, English will come to Wednesday and after economics we have to schedule the mathematics and then we have to schedule obviously one is left which is start, 
right? So this is the schedule: statistics, history, English, economics, and mathematics, right? So which lecture is scheduled on Monday? Monday we have what? One day we have statistics, right? Clear? Okay. Next question. Okay. Next question is based on the uh, same direction. Which lecture is scheduled between stats and English? Stats and English. So obviously, just go through this. Stats and English. This is history, right? So history is the answer. Okay. The next question. Which lecture is the last in the week? So last in the week is mathematics. Mathematics was scheduled on Friday, right? Let me show you this, right? Mathematics was scheduled on Friday. This is last in the last in the week, right? The next question is, which lecture was scheduled on Wednesday? So Wednesday, what it was? Wednesday it was English, right? So Wednesday it was English. Which lecture is scheduled on Wednesday? Wednesday it is English, right? Okay. Which lecture is scheduled before the mathematics lecture? So before the mathematics, obviously economics was scheduled. It is given in the question. Mathematics lecture has to be scheduled immediately after the day of economics lecture, right? It is given in the question itself. So obviously, which lecture is scheduled before the mathematics lecture? So before the mathematics lecture, we have economics, right? Friends, total five questions are clubbed with these instructions: one, two, three, four, five, right? I repeat: one, two, three, four, five. So friends, five questions are clubbed with only single instruction. So these type of clubbed questions you should try. Uh, I mean, you should uh, sure solve these questions. Why? Because uh, here you will take one to two minutes to crack this puzzle, and four or five questions will be like sure shot will be there for you, right? Okay. Now let's talk about the next question. Next question says two glasses. Of equal volume are respectively half and three four filled with milk. Two glasses of equal volume. Let's say there are two glasses, right? Let's say there are two glasses. This is glass number one, and this is glass number two. Though they are cylindrical glass, but please, please consider them as glass here, right? My maths, I mean, my art is not that good. So one is half filled. Let's say the capacity of both the glass is twenty liters, right? Let's say the capacity of both the glass is twenty liters. So one is half filled. So let's say the one is half filled, which is ten liter, and another is three fourth filled. So three fourth of twenty is what? Three fourth of twenty is fifteen liters. Three fourth of twenty is fifteen, right? So this is 15 liters filled. Both are, I mean, this is 10 liters filled with milk, and this is 15 liters filled with milk, right? Okay, they are then filled to the brim by adding water. Okay, fine. So here, water is being added. So in the first glass, we have added 10 liters of water. In the second glass, we have added how much water? Five liters water, right? So in the second glass, we have added five liters of water. Okay, fine. Now their contents are then poured into another vessel. What will be the ratio of the milk to water in that vessel? Fine. Another vessel. So another vessel will be what? Another vessel will be of forty liters capacity. Right. Why? Because twenty liters is coming here and twenty liters is coming here, coming from here. Right. So obviously there must be a forty liter of vessel. So How much milk? Ten liter plus fifteen liter is the milk total, right? So milk is what? Total milk is twenty-five, right? Twenty-five liter milk, and what is water? Ten plus five, which is fifteen liters of water, right? Okay. So what they are asking? They are asking the ratio of milk to water, milk to water in the vessel, vessel, right? Milk to water. So milk is what twenty five liter, and water is what fifteen liters. So this is the ratio. The ratio is what five is to three, right? The ratio is five is to three. So D option is the correct choice. 
Okay, everyone. D option is the correct choice. Fine. Now let's move to other one. Okay. Next question says, all machines consume energy. Okay. Second statement, electricity provides energy. Okay. Electricity operated machines are cheap to maintain. Okay. Electricity operated machine do not cause pollution. Okay. Which one of the following inferences can be drawn from the above statements? All machine run by electrical energy. All the machines run by electric energy. Mm, okay, wait. There is no form of energy other than electricity. No, it is not correct. Most machines are operated on electric energy. Okay, most machines are operated on electric energy. Okay. Electricity operated machines are preferable to use. Yes, this one is the correct answer. Why? Because all the four statements are saying almost the similar thing. Right? Why? Because electricity, third statement is what? Third statement is saying electricity operated machines are cheap to maintain. Right? So obviously, uh, they are cheap to maintain. maintain. That's why they are preferable to use. Number one. Number two, all the machines consume energy and electricity provides energy. So obviously, machines are using electrical energy, right? So electrically operated machines are preferable to use. This one is the correct answer. Here, D option will be the right choice. Okay. Now let's talk about the next question. Next statements, uh, next question says, examining the following statements, none but the rich can afford air travel. Okay. Some of those who travel by air become sick. Okay. Some of those who become sick require treatment. Okay. Which one of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above statements? Okay. All the rich person traveled by air. Okay. All the rich person traveled by air. This is not exactly correct. Why? Because all those who travel by air, they are rich. But all the rich people are not traveling by air. It is not It is not being said in the question. Right? In spite the question is saying, all those who are traveling by air, they are rich. But all who are rich, they are traveling by air. It is not given in the question. Right? Second statement, those who travel by air become sick. No. All the rich persons become sick. No. All those who travel by air are rich. Yes, it is correct. All of those who are travel who are traveling by air are rich. This is actually this can be concluded through the given statements. Right? D option is the correct choice. Okay, next one. Next question says in five flats, one above the other. It means they are five floors actually. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, and fifth floor. Right? live five professionals. The professor has to go up to meet his IES officer friend. So obviously professor can't be on top because he has to go up. Okay. And professor's friend is living and I mean professor's friend is IES. So professor's friend is an IES officer. All right. The doctor is equally friendly to all and has to go up as frequently as to go down. It means doctor is living on exactly middle floor because he is uh, as frequently going up as to going down. So doctor is living on exactly middle floor. So he is living on the third floor, right? The engineer has to go up to meet his MLA friend. Engineer's friend is an MLA. Engineer has to go up to meet his MLA friend above whose the flat, above whose flat lives the professor's friend. Okay, so engineer has to go up to meet his friend, right? So see everyone, engineer and MLA can't be here. Why? Because because uh, above it, the flat of professor's friend, I mean the flat of IS must be there, right? So MLA just, I mean, uh, just above MLA, IES is living, right? So obviously, we have only one choice, which is first floor and second floor, 
right so second floor will be of mla and second uh, i mean first floor will be of ias officer ias is professor's friend and mla is engineer's friend engineer is going up to meet his friend and above it professor's friend who is an ias living right okay so this is okay and then we are we are left with two professions professor professors and professor and engineer right so we are not sure about these two professions professor and engineer who are, who like where is professor living and where is engineer living no problem let's talk about the options from the ground floor to the top floor in what order do the five professional live see friends mla is not living on the top floor so mla 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 so obviously the fourth choice is the correct one right okay fourth choice is the correct one because top floor i mean top floor is occupied by ias officer all right okay so friends this uh, video is over hope you enjoyed the session everyone right thanks for watching thank you everyone thank you